The question here is how do I solve logarithm? Logarithm is a uh, it's an interesting uh, concept, if uh, to put it mildly. Earlier, when we introduced the order of operation, please excuse, multiply, divide, and add. Notice each one of them has their own counterparts. Um, parenthesis is a bit, nonetheless, I mean, solving it is almost the opposite of how to simplify. So exponential is the one does not, notice it does not have anything that's counter it. Actually, it does. We just don't put it in. Logarithm is counterpart of exponential. This is important because many students can handle exponentials relatively easily. So what we need to do is to build on top of that. So. Um, when, when we have 2 to the 3 equal to 8, another way to write this one, just like 2 times 7 equal to 14, we can also write 14 divided by 7 as equal to 2. Okay, so here we're going to write is log base, take the same base, now swap those two. Okay. I used to tell my students that think of this one as a hat. Okay, so you keep the same base, same shoes on, but if you swap the hat and whatever is outside of the door, you have the logarithm. Okay, this is the critical foundation of the logarithm. So let's take a look at this log. If you use the log and get into the exponentials, what you're going to have is keep the base, which is x, right? And you're going to swap the hat and whatever is outside. So you're going to x to the fourth is equal to 81. Okay, that's the first problem here. Once you get into the exponential form, it's relatively easy to go from there. Okay, because 81, you can see is uh, this one is uh, um, 9 times 9 or 3 to the fourth. Okay. Obviously, if you equating parts, then x has to be equal to 3. So here's your first answer, okay? So far, so good. Again, this part is the critical part. If you have this one well in your grasp on a test, then there shouldn't be give you any problems uh, logarithm. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try log base of 64 of 8 is equal to x. We're asked to find out what x is. Let's try our trick again. Keep the base, swap the hat with whatever is outside. Okay. 64 to the x is equal to 8. Okay. If you see it the easy way, which is 64, take square roots, that's equal to 8. Then our x is equal to half. That's great. If you see the shortcut, that's great. If you don't see it, don't panic. Okay. So then you do is 2 to the third. That's 8. We all know that, right? So 2 to the 4 is 64 to the x. Okay. So I'm trying to match base in that 4x, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 8, actually. My apology here, 2 to the 6 is 64. Okay, so 6x here is equal to 3, so x equal to half as well. So if you don't see the shortcut, don't panic. Get everything into the base of 2. Sometimes it's base of 5, but don't panic. Rewrite everything. See if you can match the base up together. And be careful. Like I made a mistake here almost. Okay. Let's try another one. Uh, what if you have a little more complicated one? Let's see. We have a 25 is equal to 5 log base of 2 and x and equal to 10. Oh, this one was a plus sign. Okay. Now this wasn't in the pretty form, so we're going to have to transfer it. So we're going to um, simplify it a little bit, and we're going to gather it around. So 25 minus 25, we have a 15 on this side. Okay. Log has a base that says if you have a number in front of it, you can store it up in a hat. Okay, equal to minus 15. Now this one is in the form we can deal with. Okay, 2 to the minus 15 is equal to x to the fifth. Okay, so we're trying to equate in the base. Now we've got to get the exponential the same here. So we have 2 to the minus 3 to the 5. That's equal to x to the 5. 
because 3 times 5 minus 3 times 5 is minus 15 there. So my x, if I equate it on both sides, I have minus 3. Or x is equal to 1, 8. Okay, that's the answer here. Let's try one more, similar ones. What if I have a minus 4 plus 12 log base of x, 3 is equal to 2. What do we do for that one? Okay, once again, let's completely rearrange it. Put the 4 over there, we have a 6. Okay, And store this hat up on the attic, equal to 6. Now from here, once we get into this form, we can use our exponential. Keep the same base, swap the hat, equal to 3 to the 12. Okay, so far, so good. Now here, we need to match this one because we need to find the x. So x to the half inside and make this one 12. See, I'm trying to match something so I can equate on left side with right side. So I have x to the half equal to 3 because they are all to the 12th power. From there, we can say x equal to 9 is the answer. All right? Hope this helps. Have a confident day.